What's up, Pastor? <laughs> What's up, my niggas? Those are the two subjects that I, you know, mainly talk to. Who I'm trying, or at least who I'm trying to talk to, is pastors and niggas. Not black folks. Not the educated, successful, hard working, you know, the niggas that done figured it out. The black people who is not accounted with all the other black people when they throw the stat out that blacks put over a trillion dollars in the economy and only 3% stays amongst the African-American community. So you niggas who is not involved in that stat, I take it, you know, it might be you educated niggas or a bunch of you niggas that read a bunch of books. So I'm just going to get that retarded ass stat. That retarded ass stat. I'm going to accredit it to the no good, low life to niggas like me. That's why I start off by saying, hello pastor and hello niggas. Because I just refuse to believe that these niggas that's on YouTube, definitely these niggas that's been replying to my videos. Not to get back black to Africa niggas. Not the pharaohs and the kings and we was black gods. and I just know y'all niggas ain't a part of that stat. That retarded shit. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So let me address this brother. I ain't going to say his name. We'll keep his name anonymous. But let me tell you this. I'm going to show you what you miss. When I was talking about it's three stages of action. That goes along with God's purpose and plan. And more precisely, my last video covered Melchizedek. I said that there's three stages. There's God, a priesthood in the middle, or it could be you, nigga. We won't even talk about Jesus. It could be you, and then it could be your family, your son, your daughter. Do you follow me? See, see, if you are a righteous man, a righteous African king, and you got children. Now just watch this. Here go you. I'm talking to the nigga. All right. Who say I believe in the Pope. You know why would God have to. You know have a priesthood. And you know God is God. And what have you. Just watch. This is what you miss. And I'm surprised that I have to go through this elementary shit with you. But just watch. Here's you. In the midst of your family. You have to teach your kids something. Do you follow me? Where you get your knowledge from? Where you get your knowledge from? Where your spirit come from? Now I'm going to say it again. When I was speaking, it was God, a priesthood. It could be you. Do you follow what I'm saying? Because God uses man to go through man to reach the next human being. To reach the next African. This is what I was saying by the three stages. But you took it. And ran with it because you do believe white people. You do, you, you niggas do believe white people. Because anytime you hear the terminology as priests or Jesus, you're automatically thinking of the goddamn European in the movie or all these, these images they got of this white boy. That's not Jesus. Nor does Jesus stand for that. I said that in the beginning of my, my last recording. I don't give a fuck about no past events. What happened 2,000 years ago? What the fuck that got to do with me? I clearly said that. But let me break it down for you before I, you know, continue on, on my subject matter that I'm going to be talking about today. Let me break it down for you. And it goes like this. If Adam, a black man, yeah, nigga, yeah, we're going to stay black today. If Adam, a black man, was God's first creation, is you with me? Now, don't forget, I said it was three stages. All right? Just watch. If Adam was the first man down here on the planet and he was black. Okay. But just watch. God gave charge and rule and dominance and dominion to man over his creation. Am I correct? Do you believe that? Watch this. If you have God's creation right here, watch this. Here's God's creation. He told Adam, watch this. This is God's creation. He told Adam to have dominion. That means Adam is over creation. 
Anytime you insinuate dominion, you get it? Kingdom. You can't be called a king if you don't have something to be king over. A king has to have a dominion to rule over. Is you with me? Kingdom is a compound word. King and then dominion. Did you follow me? The first king put here was Adam. Without God ever saying it. Without Adam ever saying it. Not unless you just, you know, then read some motherfucking study Bibles and since the Europeans didn't word it like that. You follow me? But any thinking motherfucker would know if Adam was told, and this is the word that was used, dominion. Here's creation. Here's Adam over creation. And just watch. If Adam has dominion, Adam was the first king here. Without it ever being said in scripture. How the fuck you gonna have dominion over God's creation? Nigga, you a king. <laughs> you follow me? Watch the language of scripture, nigga. You talking about, I believe in the Pope. No, you believe in what them Europeans said and the way they said it. And you can't think outside the box. You follow me? You have to have an open mind, an African mind when you read this shit. But let me school you on something. Let me show you when I said it was a three-stage action. Don't forget I said God, a priesthood in the middle. See, you don't even know what priest mean. A priest is acting as a pap, uh, excuse me, a pipeline. That's all a priest is. God goes through the priest to get to the people. The people goes through the priest to get to God. But it might not necessarily have to be a bunch of motherfuckers in the church. Standing up preaching in front of everybody. See, you got it fucked up. You got it wrong. But let me break it down for you. Who the first king priest was. Uh, is you with me? Now, I'm going to say Adam was a black man. Which he was. You ready for this, my nigga? Watch this. If Adam had dominion. Watch this. Here's creation. Adam has dominion over creation. So you got creation right here. Adam is over creation. Now just watch. God, watch this nigga, is over Adam. Just watch it. Here's creation. Watch. Watch, watch. My fist is creation. Adam is over creation. God is over Adam. So that means you have God, Adam, and then creation. Adam's in the middle. <laughs> just watch this. Yeah. The word priest ain't even mentioned in the first three chapters of Genesis. Genesis. The word king ain't even mentioned. But if you know the priest and the king is, you'll know that that black man was the first king priest without it ever being written in scripture. But you don't have an open mind. You follow what I'm saying? You one of them niggas that, that can only receive knowledge when it's given to you by the European, like I said before, word, this means this, this means that, this means... You can't put together the, 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 the metaphors and the allegory. I can't help that because you're looking at a bunch of bu a bunch of uh, black videos of Man Samusa, Dr. Henry Clark, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you'd have read a bunch of uh, civil rights books, you know, like them niggas on YouTube. I mean, it's more power to you, man, but uh, you can't see the allegorical, the metaphorical speeches in this shit. Creation, Adam... Then God, if God is the one that does the blessings, how can God get to creation, right? This is creation. This is God up here. Adam is in the middle. Is you with me? Because he told Adam that you should have dominion. So if this is God and this is creation, how can God get to his creation and Adam is in the way? Because Adam is in the middle. <laughs> Did you catch it? God was showing you the order of Melchizedek the purpose in his plan is that here go God, here go Adam, and this is creation. God, God right here, goes through Adam to get to his creation. I go through flesh, nigga. What you think? God finna come down here like it's some Star Trek shit? And you finna wake up one night and God gonna be in your room saying, nigga, let me talk to you. See, you do, you, you do believe them Europeans. Nah, nigga. You the one fucked up. God gave you the order of procession 
without him ever saying it. Or it being written in scripture like that. But see, nigga, you can't catch that. You can't catch that shit, my nigga. All right? I'm going to show you what else you can't catch. This is real shit. Do you follow what I'm saying? No, I ain't well read. No, I don't use a bunch of uh, big words, etymology and all that shit. A family member of mine told me you use too much profanity. You turning people off. No, if I'm turning motherfuckers off, then you don't need to be on this page then. You don't need to be watching my videos. Go listen to the smart motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Guess what? Go to 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 9. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Because see, a lot of you brothers and sisters from these particular religions like to read from the Old Testament. Y'all don't like talking about Jesus. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? And every time I would see y'all on video is give me Kings, give me Psalms, give me Ecclesiastes, you know, Zechariah. You know, the hard books. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to go from y'all book. Give me 1 Kings chapter 14. Verse 9. Now don't forget. If what you're saying. You can't go inside the action. Of a confused teenager. A little girl. We already talked about the little boy. But a little girl. On the high school basketball team. She a freshman. She want to start sucking pussy. Because some, some girl that's a junior. Then approached her when she was in the shower. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, why don't you let me wash your back? But anyway, she's trying to turn her out. She starts having these strange thoughts. Her parents start seeing her dress. Her dress is different. The way she dresses is different. Do you follow me? She stopped doing girly shit. Do you follow what I'm saying? They start to see a change in her. So what... The, what the parents do. What they always do. Let's take her to see the old pastor. He can't do shit with her. And guess what my nigga. Guess what. You ready for this. Neither can your pharaoh. King Tut. Mansa Musa. We was kings. We was gods. Ancient Egypt. Ethiopia. Y'all can't do nothing with her neither. Nah nigga. I'm, nah, nigga, what you think? I wasn't going to say y'all. Y'all can't do nothing with her neither. Because what you're saying doesn't go inside the action of her brain. I believe that shit. That we are the chosen people, the melanated people. I believe that. But just because I have knowledge of that. That don't transform my brain, nigga. Just because I know I'm the original people. I, that, that don't change my brain just because I have knowledge. I can see that in everyday life. I'm not denouncing that type of knowledge, that type of self-knowledge of who I am and my ancestors and where I come from. I'm not denouncing that. But when I make my videos, then you niggas try to come up and say that, you know, off the wall shit. That's why I had to throw you niggas in here today. Y'all can't do nothing with them neither. Talking that black shit. That I believe in. I believe in that. Don't get me wrong. But if I could ever meet you in person, my nigga. This shit ain't gonna go down how these motherfuckers be all on biblical talk shows. And, well, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay, you read. Okay, be quiet. We got this guy over here. Uh, such and such. How do you feel? Well, I believe the son. Do you have scripture? You know, they had three, four motherfuckers on the screen trying to out-talk each other. Trying to act like fucking Geno Jennings. Man, get the fuck out my face with that shit. Trying to talk smart. Now, I'm going to bring a sick motherfucker to the party. Run your shit in front of the world. Fuck having a biblical discussion to see who the smartest is. Well, brother, can you explain, okay? You said, man, fuck that shit. You bitch, you should have been a lawyer then. A civil rights activist. The fuck I look like getting on some kind of podcast with motherfuckers. Okay, the father and son, do you believe it? Man, come on, man. Let's bring a sick motherfucker to the party. Let's bring a prostitute who want to stop, who want to stop prostitute. The walls is closing in on her. Let's bring that high school motherfucker who's thinking about suicide. Let's bring that crackhead, that addict motherfucker. Or that child that want to hurt themselves. That 14 year old little boy or girl want to hurt themselves. Let's run your smart shit on them. 
Now that's how you can make me a believer. Like I said, yeah, yeah, nigga, like I thought. Sit your ass down. And <laughs> sit your ass down, nigga. Because that shit is impotent. It just sound good, nigga. Like I said, go to 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 9. It ain't coming out my mouth if I can't put it inside the action of your brain, my nigga. I ain't going to talk about it. What the fuck is we talking scripture for and you can't go inside the action of another human being's brain to make them aware of how this shit goes in their mind? You can't do it, my nigga, sending me some motherfucking videos of Dr. Henry Clark that I already seen before. <laughs> you can't do it. I don't give a fuck about you quoting some Malcolm X or some Marcus Garvey or, or when you in your videos or whatever, it's red, black, and green. You got all kinds of books. Man, that shit don't mean shit. All these smart ass niggas running around here and we put over a trillion dollars into the economy and only 3% stay amongst ourselves. Nigga, it's something we doing wrong. Nigga, it's something we doing wrong, my nigga. The reason why I say that, niggas in Cleveland, Ohio, don't know niggas in Houston. Niggas in Houston don't know niggas in California. Niggas in California don't know niggas in Dayton. Niggas in Dayton don't know niggas in Chicago. Niggas in Chicago don't know niggas in Wyoming. Wyoming don't know, don't know niggas in Utah. But yet, we have managed to cohesively bring this stupid ass attention. Y'all ain't, man, y'all, you missing it. How in the fuck can some niggas spread across America who never talk to each other all come together for one commonality of retardation? Oh, yeah, nigga. There's something. Now, don't forget, we all don't talk to each other, but we all share one commonality. We're a part of that statistic. Even you smart motherfuckers. There's something in us. No niggas on the phone telling another nigga, hey man, let's do some retarded shit this year. I mean, let's look at black videos. Let's see these police shootings. Let's, let's all try to uh, talk like General Jennings, uh, try to talk like Malcolm X, you know. Let's all try to be smart. But yet at the end of the day, we all gonna do some dumb ass shit. No nigga in this part of the country calls niggas in the other part. No nigga says that. How did we cohesively come together to achieve this retarded ass stat? We all got something in common. There's something in us. First Kings, nigga. Chapter 14, verse 9. And I somewhat quote, nigga. Is you ready for this, nigga? The writer of First Kings, chapter 14, verse 9, was saying... And this is God. For they have gone and made themselves other gods. This is God now. The writer is saying what God said. They have gone and made the other gods. Other gods? I thought you was the only God. God said, hold on, nigga. Keep reading. They have gone and made the other gods and molten images. Molten images. Now you probably saying, okay, school, that means you know they they made a, a, a statue of a false god, then they start worshiping it. See, nigga, you read too fast. You missed it. You missed it. But your old school gonna break it down for you, nigga. Your uncle gonna break it down with simplicity. You ready for this? God says, and I quote, they have gone and made the other gods and molten images. Let's deal with molten. I'm coming from the King James Bible, the King James Version. You know, the KJV, nigga. The so-called white man's book. Oh, yeah, okay, nigga. You ain't got no understanding. But just watch. Molten. Sounds simple, but when they say the word molten, it puts you in the frame of mind that something, whether it be gold, silver, metal, was in a solid state. It was in a solid state. 
And when it was put under fire, it melted. Watch this, nigga. Hey, watch this. It melted. I'm going to say it again. When they insinuate or say the word molten, something, whether it be gold, silver, is you with me? Metal, whatever it was. Whatever mineral it was, it was melted, and it went from a solid state to a liquid state. Is you with me? You better watch this, nigga. You better watch this, because you missed it. I'm for sure you did. Now, don't forget, we're talking to a troubled teenager. We just ain't sitting here trying to out talk each other to try to sound smart on YouTube, nigga. Or we got an attitude and we mad at white people. So since we got, you know, uh, we some coward motherfuckers, we want to try to jump on the niggas. I'm going to say it again. We want to jump on the niggas who trying to find a better way too. But since, you know, we got some motherfuckers out there that's scared, some coward motherfuckers. Well, I ain't going to say nothing to the white man because I'm scared of him. So I'm going to say something to, you know, I'm going to say something to these niggas. Then you got the right motherfucking nigga right here. Yeah, I believe in Jesus, motherfucker. Yeah, God, Jesus, what have you. I don't believe everything written in this book. What a pyramid is that, nigga? I ain't no motherfucking fool. I know how these Europeans is. Ain't no pit. The pyramids older than the Bible. Why ain't they in this book? Be for real, nigga. But there's a spiritual blueprint. And you niggas don't know it. I'm not worried about every precept upon line, precept upon line, and all that old smart shit, nigga. I'm looking for the spiritual blueprint. And I found it, nigga. And you niggas didn't. Y'all don't know the spiritual blueprint. That's why Jesus was walking, nigga. When you walk, like I said before in another video, you do not take right, left, right, left, right, left step. I'm going to repeat. You do not take right, left, right, left, right, left steps. What, what, listen, what determines you taking a right step is the preceding foot, the left foot. <laughs> Watch this. The left foot plunges into the earth and lunges you into the right step. Effortless. Oh, nigga. When spiritual principles are in their proper order, they'll lunge you to the next one. See, you can't catch that, nigga. Bring your religion on, then, whatever you believe in, pharaohs. Go dig up a mummy. Go dig up a, go dig up a, go dig up a mummy, then. Go dig up a tomb out of Egypt. Bring me the spiritual principle, nigga. Huh? And go talk to our teenagers, our young African-American, or just young African spirit don't make a difference, who's struggling, who fucked up. Go talk to them about pharaoh, nigga. Go talk to one of them young brothers and sisters who think about committing suicide, motherfucker. Go ahead. Tell them about Queen Osiris. Go talk about Pharaoh to them. Yeah, nigga. Molten. First Kings, chapter 14, verse 9. Molten. It was a solid state. And then they melted it. And it became liquid. <laughs> but guess what? That's not even primary. What now is liquid had to be poured in a fucking mold. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, better, you, you missed that, didn't you, nigga? Something that wasn't even mentioned. When he says molten images, they took the melted gold, which is now in liquid form, and poured it into a mold. Watch this, my nigga. Whatever was the shape of the mold, when they poured the liquid, gold, silver, whatever mineral it was, at one time that, that was which that that was which in a solid state is now liquid. When they poured it into the mold and it hardened, and then they, you know, they uncovered it, you know, chipped it off, whatever, that was the shape of their God. What's paramount, my nigga, is the word that wasn't even mentioned in that particular verse. It's molten. They had to have had the mold shaped. Watch this, my nigga. Just watch. They're shaping with their fingers. They're making a mold. But watch this. If I'm shaping a mold and you come over and say, man, what you making? I say, I'm making a God. I got six wings and fangs and three feet and all this shit, you know, feathers everywhere. Your first question is, how do you know to shape this mold and form it like that? Now, don't forget, this mold that I'm forming is a motherfucking idol. 
Am I correct? How would I know how to shape and form the mold that in which that the liquid, the molten would be poured in? Because the mold got to be done first. The image that was, watch, watch this, that was, oh shit, the false god was here first. Yeah, nigga, is you with me? The false god, the thing, the it, was here first. And it found expression, watch this, through my fingertips. When they was making the mold, the false god was here. And it had a prison escape. It broke out of jail. <laughs> a prison break. And it found expression. Watch this. Watch this. It found expression <clears throat> through my fingertips. Did you catch that, nigga? The mold, the image, and the formulation of the mold, that in which the way that my fingers is moving, had to exist here first. There had to have been an image of the false god. For me to be able to shape a mold. But watch this. You ready for this my nigga? Oh it gets better. Let's say. You shaving. You in the bathroom shaving. Don't forget. First Kings chapter 14 verse 9. Get there nigga. Let's say. That you in the bathroom shaving. Now I said it started off with an image here right. The false God had to exist here. And then it found expression. Through my fingers tips. Or through their fingertips for them to be able to shape the mold. Am I correct? Just watch. The image that was in my brain. Now let's go back to you shaving in the bathroom. You ready for this nigga? When your wife comes into the bathroom, now I'm over here. Just watch. When my girl enters the bathroom, she don't even look at me. She looks in the mirror. <laughs> I'm going to say it again, nigga, so you can catch this shit. When my girl comes into the bathroom, she don't look at me. She looks at my image in the mirror. Is you with me? But for me to have an image in the mirror, is you with me? The mirror has my image. Guess what it requires? What? For me to be present. You better watch this shit, nigga. Because y'all be reading too fast. Y'all, you missing it, nigga. For it to be an image in the fucking mirror, I got to be present. For you to have an image of a false god here, an image, it got to be something in you, nigga. For you to have an image in the mirror, you have to actually be present standing in front of the mirror. For you to have an image of a false god in your fucking mind, something has to be there. For the image to reflect off of, nigga. The thing is you with me. Watch this, my nigga. You ready for this? Go to Romans. Chapter 6, verse 12. <laughs> Stay with me, nigga. Yeah, stay with me. Yeah, with your good, smart, reading ass. Stay with me, nigga. Is you with me? I'm going to read it real slowly. And I somewhat quote. Follow me. Romans chapter 6, verse 12. We need to find out who this motherfucker is. But we're going to go back to 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 9. But right now, we're going to turn down a side street. Romans chapter 6, verse 12. When God was saying, let I'm going to read it slowly. Watch this. Let not sin. <laughs> sin. Watch this. Let not sin. Ring. Like a king rings, you know, supreme. Let not sin ring in your mortal bodies. That you may obey its. I-T-S. Its lust thereof. But now I'm a backdoor with Romans chapter 11, verse 27. I'm going to show you the reason why. Notice in Romans chapter 6, verse 12, it says, let not sin. That's in the singular. <laughs> Did you catch it? Let not sin ring 
in your mortal body that you may not obey its lust. Okay, God. Now that's in the singular. But now when I go to Romans chapter 11, verse 27, check out what God says. It kind of switch up, but you got to catch it, my nigga. And he's with me. It says, this is the covenant that I will make with thee in the day that I will take away their sins. Plural. And you said, well, God, what is you saying? See, the motherfucker in Romans chapter 6, verse 12, is that thing that in which that the image that you have, the image that you have up here, it reflects off that thing. That's the sin nature. That's that motherfucker. Is you with me? I done ran out of time, nigga. That's just part one. I'm just warming up, nigga. That's just part one. Stay tuned, nigga, for part two.